You've probably been there, sitting on a plane cruising high above the clouds when nature suddenly calls. You squeeze through the narrow aisle, open that tiny door, and step into a space so compact it feels like you've entered a high-tech closet. You press the mysterious blue button and suddenly whoosh! Everything vanishes in an instant. No water swirling, no heavy flush, just that oddly satisfying suction sound. But have you ever wondered where it all goes? Or how a toilet even works up there when gravity isn't exactly helping? Let's take a look inside the hidden engineering marvel that keeps airplane bathrooms clean, safe, and odor-free, even 10 kilometers above the ground, right here on History of Simple Things. On the ground, toilets rely on gravity and large amounts of water to do the job. But that's a problem in the air. You can't just have dozens of liters of water sloshing around on a plane. It would add unnecessary weight, waste space, and create safety issues during turbulence. So engineers needed a system that could remove waste efficiently without relying on gravity or gallons of water. In the early days of commercial aviation, things were, let's just say, less glamorous. Passengers used simple chemical toilets, similar to portable camping ones. These used blue disinfectant liquids that masked smells and broke down waste, but they were heavy, messy, and unpleasant to empty. Imagine a flight attendant's horror when turbulence caused spills. Clearly, there had to be a better way. The breakthrough came in the late 1970s and early 1980s when vacuum toilet systems were introduced. These systems revolutionized airplane bathrooms by using air pressure, rather than water, to whisk everything away. It was efficient, clean, and saved a ton of weight. To this day, almost every modern aircraft still uses this same basic principle. Here's how it works. When you press the flush button on a plane toilet, you're actually opening a valve at the bottom of the bowl that connects to a vacuum line. Instead of using a tank full of water to push the waste down, the vacuum system pulls it away, fast. The whoosh sound you hear is the cabin's air pressure being used to create suction through that pipeline. This vacuum system leads to a sealed waste tank located in the rear of the aircraft, typically beneath the floor. The tank can hold several hundred liters of waste, depending on the aircraft's size and number of passengers. Because the waste is sucked out instantly and transported through airtight pipes, there's no risk of leakage or lingering smell inside the cabin. The entire flush process uses less than half a liter of liquid, a mix of water and disinfectant, to rinse the bowl. What's really clever is how the vacuum system uses the plane's own pressurization difference. At cruising altitude, the cabin pressure is much lower than at sea level. Engineers designed the system so that this pressure difference actually assists in creating suction. It's like using nature's own vacuum pump, just controlled and directed where it's needed. Now for the question everyone secretly wonders. Does the waste just fall out of the plane mid-flight? Thankfully, no. That's one of aviation's biggest myths. Back in the early days of aviation, there were some unfortunate cases where waste leaked from older systems and froze on the aircraft's exterior, later breaking off mid-air as what pilots called blue ice. But modern systems have completely eliminated that problem. Today, all waste is securely stored in a sealed tank until the plane lands. After arrival, ground crews use a specialized service truck, sometimes called a honey wagon, to suction the waste out of the aircraft's tank through an external port. It's not the most glamorous job, but it's a vital one. The waste is then taken to an airport treatment facility where it's properly processed and disposed of, similar to how city sewage is handled. 
Once the tank is emptied, the aircraft system is cleaned and refilled with a fresh batch of disinfectant fluid ready for the next flight. It's all quick, efficient, and designed so passengers never have to think about it, which honestly is exactly how you'd want it. Airplane toilets have come a long way from the chemical-filled boxes of the past. Today, engineers are experimenting with even more efficient designs. Some newer systems use vacuum pressure sensors and advanced valves that automatically adjust to altitude and cabin pressure changes, ensuring consistent performance at all times. There are even aircraft manufacturers exploring waterless or self-cleaning toilets. For instance, some prototypes use UV light to sterilize surfaces between uses, killing bacteria in seconds. Others aim to reduce maintenance by automatically tracking how often the toilet has been used and alerting crew when the waste tank is nearly full. As sustainability becomes more important in aviation, there's also growing interest in recycling wastewater. Not for drinking, of course, but for use in toilet flushing systems to further reduce the aircraft's overall water load. It's all part of making air travel lighter, more efficient, and environmentally responsible. So the next time you're on a flight and you hear that distinct whoosh echoing through the cabin, you'll know that you're witnessing a little bit of engineering brilliance in action. That flush isn't just a simple convenience. It's a carefully designed system that balances air pressure, sanitation, and safety, all while using minimal resources. It's easy to take airplane toilets for granted, but they represent one of the many unseen technologies that make modern flight possible and surprisingly comfortable. So next time you're 30,000 feet in the air, you can thank physics, pressure differentials, and some very clever engineers for making sure that everything, quite literally, goes away smoothly. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.